Hey guys, Demon back, and I'm going to be reviewing another Call of the Dead video. Or not Call of the Dead, my bad, Mob of the Dead. So, this is the Afterlife. I'll get into detail with that later. That's a new game mode. There's new traps. There's new bosses. There's new secondary weapons. There's new primary weapons. There's new zombies. There's new eyes. <coughs> new hellhounds. New... New wonder weapons. That. And I'll tell you what that is. That. What that is, is a nuke flying towards you. And you might be thinking, oh, yeah, you feed the hellhound, and that's part of the Easter egg, and it rewards you by giving that stuff. Well, that's actually not true. Not That's not what I'm thinking it's true. Because what it looks like is there's a secondary weapon with the tomahawk. That looks like the grip of the tomahawk inside the nuke. And it looks like that guy just got done throwing it. And then it flies to him. So maybe that's the new pack-a-punch power for a tomahawk. Um, this is the... Uh, I forgot what it's called. I'll tell you when it comes to me. <laughs> but what it is... It's a mix between the Gatlin gun and, uh, yeah, I'll just tell you what it is later once I can remember, but, <laughs> it, as you see, that's the pack-a-punch version of it, and what it does is it shoots out little bottles of stuff, and the stuff it shoots out is, like, pheromones that attract the zombies to another zombie, like, watch. <laughs> boom, 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 then they go for him. He freezes, they go for him. And then he explodes. So I think that's going to be taking the place of the monkey bombs that Samantha that Samantha has you use. Richtofen sort of does. Uh, this map looks way bloodier and way worse than the other maps. Like, way... Just... Like, darker, I guess. And this is the unpack-a-punched version of it. Um... As you can see, it's like a shotgun kind of thing, and it shoots four bullets at once, and it it, it shoots a full mag at once. That is the prison warden, and he's wearing a riot suit, and as you can see, he's kind of a, he's just a jerk, I guess, because look, someone just tries to buy a perk, and he shuts it down, and goes up to it, and sets it, sets it on fire, and chases you. And this guy is, like, George and stuff for the other maps, from the old maps. This takes place before Samantha takes place. Samantha comes after World War II. That's why they're Nazi zombies. They, these zombies are just regular zombies out of control, not organized at all. Don't come when they should. They just show up. Um... I'll be getting to this stuff more later. This is the afterlife. That's the afterlife symbol. That needs you need to remember that because I will be talking a lot about the afterlife. You actually start the game out in afterlife. Once you start the game, you have to go find your body with this. Is it also a timer? As you can see, it's getting dark. The hands that you the hands that you see can shoot electricity because I guess you're like an electric guy before you get into your human body. Um, so that's, that sh is an interesting thing. There's a gun on the wall, obviously, right there. That's a machine gun we have not seen before. We've seen it in multiplayer, we've seen it in campaign, but we have not seen it in zombies. Um, I forgot what it's called, also. I'm not really good with the gun names. There's the little, you can go through walls, and there's those little clocks all over, and it looks like you zap them. I don't know if they're clocks, that's what they look like. Um, we got new buildables. And that's actually the Blundergat, uh, mixed between the Gatlin gun and the Blunderbuster. <laughs> that's, once again, the unpack a punched version, but, so, you use the trolley... 
that it looks similar to the old one, and then you hook it onto a prison door, and you get to carry that. This is the new trap, um, people are saying it's an acid trap, but really, it looks like mustard gas coming down from the ceiling, because it doesn't actually burn away the floor. Uh, you wouldn't want to get caught in that, because it could down you, and same with these, these fan blades. Set it off, zombies run into it, get killed. This can help get you to high rounds. Hmm... Once again, there's the, there's all of this stuff going on. You got writings all over the walls. Can't tell what that says yet. Um, and yeah, just new traps. Fun ways to get to high rounds. And then here, the new perk, Electric Cherry. This is taking the place of, or no, Afterlife is taking the place of Quick Revive. This is taking the color of Quick Revive. You'll see what I mean here in a second. He drinks the perk and boom. He gets the perk. The perk is the same color as Quick Revive. Looks a lot the same as Quick Revive. Except that it's not Quick Revive. What it does is he shoots his gun. And he needs to reload. And you'll see... Once this video gets out, once this clip gets back, that's the perk. This guy runs through, shoots the zombies, and then reloads, and electricity shoots up around him and does damage to the zombie. This, I'm not quite sure what this means, but this looks like it's going to be the opening screen, and it looks like also they have a cl uh, cut, a cut clip that goes at the very beginning also. But this might have to do afterlife, power, all this stuff. This might have to do with the Easter egg. That looks like a plane. Not sure what that means, but maybe we could build a plane and fly out of here. Who knows? This is the Hellhounds. It's like a half a body coming out of a fiery wall, and you feed them zombies. This has to do with the Easter egg. More than likely, this has to do with the Easter egg. So, we got all this stuff going on. Looks like a really fun map. We got new weapons. Everything's new. New storyline. New characters. New time period. And here. I'll go back so you can see this, but look. This person has the afterlife symbol right there. They got the afterlife symbol with a zero next to it. This might be like a who's who type thing. If you guys remember who's who, you most likely, well, you get to revive yourself in sort of what's an afterlife. But this is taking the place of quick revive for solo players. Because you get it, you have it, and there's one right next to it. Meaning, he still has one time to use it. So once he gets down, he can use it once, and if he doesn't get up, or if he doesn't get back to his body, he go he dies for the round, and then he loses it and goes down. I'm not sure if you can, like, renew your afterlives, or if there's a perk and stuff to do that, but we'll find out soon enough. If you want to see me play it, I will probably be playing it the first day it comes out. So, I most more than likely will be playing it the day it comes out, and I most likely will leave some coverage of it.